here's one for you as as the CFO. You are very used to measuring measuring return on investment of different decisions. H how would you say you measure the ROI in culture? Mm -hmm. Look, I, I, I don't think we've tried to quantify it as a financial matter, mat metric. Now, what we have needed to do so that we continue to advance and put resources and time behind this is to actually measure mileposts and measure improvements. Okay. And typically, we try to do this quantitatively. So we run what we call post surveys. We run surveys with all our people either biannually or at times even three times a year. And mm -hmm. a growing portion of those post surveys ask specific questions about the executional issues that we identify and that we start working at from a cultural perspective. So I mentioned right. before that how we make decisions is one of the cultural aspects we were working on. So now when we run post surveys, we ask teams eight or nine or 10 questions about decision making. And then we track what the positive progression on those decision-making access has been. And there you can quantify tangible improvements in how you execute across all of these lines. And so you see things like, you know, 30% of employees used to say last year that decision-making processes were slow. 40% said that they required too much escalation. 27% said that it did not have enough input. Right. And then you measure a year later and you see the improvement along those lines. So that I have not made into a financial metric. I don't think we will try to. It's probably not possible. But you can certainly, if you set out to do it, measure tangible results from all this soft work that you undertake. <laughs>